G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. A knife. It's the TBS Wolverine Puko folding knife. Now I bought this to take with me on my day walks. It's a nice knife, I'd let you know straight away. Now what we're going to do, we just have a quick look over it and see why I like it. Now I bought it in the case, nice leather sheath. It's got your fire rod on it there, your ferroseal. So if need be, I can start fires. And it came with a matching one. And this is the curly birch. Now, before I get into the knife, the case, or your sheath, it's got a nice belt loop on the back. And you probably just about to see it, you've got a TBS logo indented into it which is a nice finish and the best part about that they've put it on the back so you can you know it's there you can see it when it's off the belt but when it's on the belt you're just seeing the actual nice crafted belt for the knife to go in decent size power cord on the feather seal rod there and a lot of people complain that they get loose and they fall out a simple tip to get over that. Put the loop on your power cord, fold it over and clip. So now if it does come out, that's going to hold it in place. The sheath on it, like I said, it's good quality, nice quality stitching. They've actually got a stud at the beginning of the stitching here at the open end and then it's stitched it all the way down so it's nicely reinforced so some of them you'll see they'll start coming apart there because they're only stitched so that stud is going to give that extra strength to stop that from happening we've got a nice brass buckle here or clip press stud or whatever you want to call it you know it locks you feel it and hear it And as you can see the rod's not been used yet. But we'll give it a go today. Now it's a nice tight fit in here. I keep pulling it out, putting it back in, but it's actually beginning to take the shape of the knife inside of here. And eventually that will become a little bit looser to make it easier to get in and out. But it's a bit stiff at the moment, which is a good thing and a bugger at the same time because trying to get out with one hand on your hip belt is a bit tight but like I said that will loosen up so there we go we've got the curly birch which matches the ferrocene right there you can see hopefully down here you got the curly birch and then you got a red strip I think that's just like a plastic and then you got the actual steel of the knife now this little red strip here, they say they don't know, but with uh, with the temperatures and the heat and the expansion, they think, hello Maggie, they think, let me show you, oh, it's, it's moved, that as the metal expands, the plastic will expand uh, less, and then the wood will be expanding at its own rate so there's less chance of the wood breaking so the handle will last a hell of a lot longer and probably forever if you look after it anyway but let's get that red out of the way because people ask is it there for a purpose the purpose is it looks nice and it lets you know the difference between the one and the two version because this is the uh, the two version, not the one version, this is the two version. Now let's pull this blade out and it locks with a nice click as you probably heard there. So let's do it again. Nice definite click, no movement. So it's going to be nice and secure. Going down the back to the handle again, I've got a small hole at the end so if you wanted to you could put some power cord around there and have your knife looped. They've got some nice 
stud work there, riveting to hold the handle in place. It's not the best camera to use to show this because we've only got a certain distance for focus, but and again here. So that one can be taken out so you can get to the blade, I believe. <laughs> There's a Again, back to the knife. Watching the maggies, I love the sound. The blade, okay. We got it here. Is the N nine six hundred? No, sorry, the N six nine zero CO stainless steel, which helps <laughs> hold the the blade sharpness, so it doesn't dull as quick. And it is a Scandi blade, so which I actually prefer, they're a lot easier to sharp, uh, sharpen on the stone I just like the look of them too so what else have we got here, the blade is 95 millimeters in length let's see it's got a full size handle so you're not going to be struggling to hold it so I haven't got the uh, biggest of hands in length but the width wise they measure as a large and the medium in length so that hopefully will give you an idea you see that and it feels nice to hold it so there's no I can know some of them you hold and you think eh, it, it doesn't fill the hand up you don't feel like you've got a good grip but the handle on this it, it actually feels a really nice grip on it it's shaped to fit your hand it's not like somewhere you hold it and you'll feel the ends here will be cutting in because they're not rounded enough this one does feel really nice we've got the release there so when it comes to putting the blade away you press that and fold the blade down now can we flick it, we'll bring it about that far it will flick or with a whip of the wrist, let's use that word but it's still nice and firm in there, tight So you're going to have to give it a good flick to get it out but it does come out really really nice and there's your logo of the Wolverine on it the blade also has your nail po point on it so you can pull it out so instead of grabbing it like I do you can put your nail in there so you've got a grip to pull it out that's what that's there for if you didn't know but it comes out without using that uh, well see it's got your 90 degree spine on it so let's get this ferrocyon rod let's clean some of this paint off so we've got some of the coating off let's see in daytime, I don't feel but yeah, we're getting a the spot there. Good, good steel. That's giving off a good, good spark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, I like that. So, you know that this works. That's a nice, sharp, 90 degree spine on it. So were you left handed or right handed, let's try it that way. Yep, that went good. <laughs> that flew off and landed on the actual bench. So both sides of the, uh, but the spine of the blade you can use. So, when it comes out of the box, you've got to be careful. The blade is sharp from day one. And we've been a nice hard steel that sharpness seems to hold a lot longer than any of the cheaper steels so a little bit harder to sharpen but they stay sharper longer so that's a TBS Wolverine Foco folding knife and that goes in the case it goes on my belt and it sits just nice on the belt good quality there's not much more I can say about it, I'm not an expert on knives or anything like that. It 
just feels good it, uh, it works good for me I like it I do have another one of the TBS knives the um, one of the bush knives which is the boa, boa or boar however you want to pronounce it it's mark II I'll be showing you that in the sheath and everything I got with it it's a very nice knife that is but for a day knife or in emergencies to get home or something that's nice for your bug out bag get home bag whatever you want to call it or use it for so that's the TBS Wolverine Bucco folding knife so if you haven't already become a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future upcoming videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much